Well, hello, Leo. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Leo, we're going to go ahead and get right into your reading. We're going to see what comes out for you here today. So this is going to be for Leo. For Leo. <clears throat> Leo. It's so interesting because the full card tried to come out here. Um, and I feel like you may have trusted someone a little bit too much because, I mean, part of the fool card is like feeling foolish, you know. Um, maybe you felt like you trusted someone and they betrayed you. Here with the Nine of Swords, you trusted them so much to the point where now you're regretting it. Now there's some sadness, okay? You are here with the Hermit card trying to go within, you know, trying to regather yourself because of what has occurred in the past. Um, so I do feel like a lot of you are withdrawing. Maybe even if you're with your family, you just need time to yourself because you're trying to heal. Um, there is a lot of stress that I see that you're going through. I do see that. Maybe decisions that you have to make, maybe plans or people are relying on you and you need answers. And sometimes going with the end could be the best answer for you. I do see here with the Six of Wands that there is going to be a lot of success coming up on the horizon for you. I see that there is going to be, um, now I'm not going to say that this is someone from the past. This is actually someone who just wants to win your heart. Now that could be anyone. That could be someone from the past. That could be someone um, in the future or, or, or a new person. I'll say it that way. But, you know, <clears throat> part of that Six of Wands is you being optimistic. So where you have all these, all this anxiety here with the nine of swords, the six of wands is like extremely optimistic or at least a little bit. Okay. Um, but it's winning. Okay. So let's get your future position. Future. Yeah. Here with the two of wands. I'm also seeing marriage for a lot of you, for some of you, i say for maybe a few. I see a new home. I do see that some of you are going to be moving to a new home. Uh, tra traveling and partnership. So definitely some type of partnership here. And it could be this person who's trying to win your heart. What Maybe you're with them right now or this is someone that you're going to meet. But a lot of you here with the Hermit card, like I said, you're just waiting for good things to happen. Um, you're going within. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. And you know what? The reason why I, it's taking me so long is because my hands are dry. And it's hard for me to shuffle. So let's go ahead. This is for Leo. <clears throat> yeah, I see just, I, I just see in general here with the Four of Swords, a lot of healing, a lot of resting here. Ooh, 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 ooh. There could have been someone, someone too, maybe recovering from an illness. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing that there could be surgery, some type of back surgery. You know, sometimes you can't sleep. That's what I'm saying as well. Nothing major, but um, uncomfortable energy. So here with the Seven of Cups, I do see that there is a lot of opportunities coming your way. Um, and there has been a lot of confusion. It's so interesting that that Seven of Cups came up under that hermit. Because the Seven of Cups, I mean, the hermit is just so cool, calm, collected. And, and you know, it's just them making focus, right? But with the Seven of Cups, it's like, okay, I got to do this. So I see you being very busy. Um, but I see a lot of opportunities opening up for you, which is really good. Okay. There's a need to heal. A lot of you need to heal. Take care of your health as well. You need to, some of you may be drinking too much. So make sure you don't drink. Oh, the lover's card tried to come out, but something fell on the floor. Oof. Yeah, someone, and, and this is this is why someone's trying to win you over because whoever this is, they're going to instantly know. Well, if they maybe, especially if they're the one who did it, right? They're, they're the one who caused this pain. But even if this person, you know, is new, they're going to know that, you know, not that you've been hurt and how, but you're not going to overextend yourself. So this person here wants to win you over. They're going to try to make you feel comfortable and safe. This could potentially be someone from the past or a new soulmate. Okay. So this is healing. Like I said, I love to see the three of swords and the four of swords. That's how you know. You already know it's healing involved. Okay. That's about to happen here. 
This is for Leo. <clears throat> and I see a lot of you are just looking towards the future. If that's what you're doing. Yeah. So, you know, <clears throat> you're trying to use your intuition there. Whatever's hidden, you're going to find out. So let's say there's been silent treatment. Let's say someone hasn't been talking to you. There's going to be communication. There's clarity all up and down this reading. And that's what's so interesting about this Ace of Swords, because if there has been confusion, if there has been, um, you know, just frustration, you're going to get this clarity with this Ace of Swords. But like I said, here with this Three of Swords, I just see... Um, you know, things that were hidden that caused so much disappointment. And because you've experienced this in the past, like I said, you're like, I'm I'm not really willing to extend myself right now because I don't know you could be keeping secrets. <laughs> um, and if they are, you're going to find out. OK, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get into some of your um, finance cards first. And then we're going to get into the last portion of your reading. So this is going to be for Leo. Is it for Leo? Thank you. Leo, you had two. <clears throat> so yeah, you rebelled against the machine. <laughs> okay. You felt like you were taking care of someone. That's what you felt like. So, you know, you were, this person was very, whoever you were dealing with, they it was very unexpected how you reacted, like how you walked away, how you had enough integrity. Okay. You and this is such a, a Leo's energy here with being a rebel. It's like you don't go along with the crowds, you don't do that, and that's what I'm seeing here. You also have a card here, and this is interesting because this is like a it's it's like a a, a a what is it a soul searching card? Okay, it says the people you spend the most time with shape who you are, and this is what I'm saying. I see so many opportunities, friends, that type of thing around. Um, so this is going to be a good time for you to center yourself because I do feel like there's going to be a lot of activity in your life, um, to say the least. Okay. Cause I see you getting a lot of attention and that type of stuff. Let's see. I'm not going to take these. Yeah. With a lot of patience and beware and, and here with this beware, I just feel like some, there's some secrets. I'm not going to say what I think it is, but there are some secrets, someone being unethical or someone lying, something like that. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure where it's coming from. It could be in your immediate circle or a business partner. Okay. Yeah, arguments here. So I do feel like, um, you know, there has been a lot of issues, problems inside of a connection. This is something you may go through in the future. But now I, I do believe, let me tell you, if let's just say you were dealing with someone who, who was already in a connection with somebody. They're arguing with their partner right now. Right now, if you are in a connection, I mean, right now, if your person is in a connection, they're not doing well. And this is possibly the reason why they're going to try to come in here when you over, because this is kind of like an unhappy energy. It's a little re reboundish, but they're not happy with the person that they're with. They're not. And, you know, they're very disappointed with that three of swords. This is for Leo. Thank you. Spirituality. Didn't I tell you what the high priestess? So it's like you are guided by your your intuition. You may get help from spiritual advisors, that type of thing. And you're you're looking towards the future with optimism. Like I said, with the six of wands, because you know where you're headed. Um, this is going to get you out of this confusion energy here. And like I said, with the Ace of Swords, you are very much so feeling very victorious because. You know your 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 path, you know your worth, and you know what you need to do because of your spirituality, because of you being aware of the spiritual realm, okay? I do feel money coming in for you. Maybe a new job or something like that, or, or maybe some type of new creation, okay? Let's go ahead. Let's get three cards here for Leo. See here. So yeah, Leo, I do believe someone is cheating here. Leo, you could be, this could be for the cross watchers. So Leo, you could be at this place right now where um, you're thinking about the person that cheated on you. But for some of you, for the cross watchers, the Leo is out here in these streets. Okay. I mean, a lot. And it's a way to distract them. 
Like the universe is trying to help them go within, but they're just constantly out here dealing with different people to keep them distracted from doing the inner work. Yeah, again, look at this. Arguments came out in two different decks. There's a lot of arguments here, a lot of conflict. Oh my God, Leo. Leo, this could be with you as well. Let the rose go wherever you have to go though, you know what I mean? But I really do see that there's a, there's so much conflict in this reading here with, with you or your person. And I really do believe it could be you now just because of the cheating heart spell on yours. But I mean, it could be rose, could be reverse. But either way, even right now, Leo, what you have experienced is someone who was resisting you, who wanted to go against the grain, um, you know, who was cheating and keeping secrets and hiding things. Oh, yeah. And we already said that with the high priestess, right? So there is cycles completing here. It says your situation is, you know, about to change, okay? Okay. So make sure you stay grounded, you know, don't get, don't get caught up in this because it, I feel like it is going to, someone is going to explode. Things are going to change for you. And part of that two of wands is looking towards the future and maybe looking at things, looking at things differently. Yes. But looking at people in situations, um, new people in situations, because that looks like there's a cycle that's completing here. But this is what I have for you here, Leo. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye.